World famous Moorfields Eye Hospital in London use some of the most technically advanced equipment to help their patients maintain their sight. Down. Okay, so if you come forward, pop your chin down on the rest. This OCT scanner can see the retina at the very back of the eye and analyse its health. Eyes wide open. The scanner can show structures as small as 10 microns. It gives the surgeon a cross-section view of the retina and the blood vessels underneath it. These images are often used for the early detection of a detached retina. OK, so we're just going to do the same on the other eye. The retina can become detached from its underlying layer, the choroids, which contains the many blood vessels that provide the retina with its nourishment. Sit back. When this happens, vision in the affected region is lost. A detached retina is a serious condition that can lead to blindness if it's not diagnosed and treated quickly. This patient's retina has started to detach, but he's lucky, it can be fixed. The retina is the innermost leg of the eye. It performs much the same function as the sensor chip in a digital camera. It is made of two types of light-sensitive cells, rods and cones. Rods work in dim light and cones detect colour. These cells send electrical impulses to the brain, which interprets them as a picture. I'm using a slit lamp to examine Tony's eye. A slit lamp is a high-powered microscope that allows us to see the eye up close, as in this picture on the TV screen here. And the first thing that we see when we look into the eye is the cornea. This is a clear window that allows light to get inside the eye. It does more than that, though. It focuses most of the light, and most of the focusing power of the eye actually comes from the cornea. When light enters your eye, it must be focused on the retina. If it is not, then what you see will be blurred. To focus, the light rays must be refracted so that they meet at a point. Most of the focusing is done by the curved cornea. When we move into the anterior chamber, which is the space between the cornea and the pupil, we can see the iris. Uh, the iris dilates in the dark. Uh, when I turn on the light, the iris muscles constrict and the pupil becomes small. When I turn the light off, the pupil gets bigger again. The iris is made from two different types of muscle, circular and radial. In dim light, the radial muscles contract. In bright light, the circular muscles contract. When we look in very close through the pupil, we can see the front surface of the lens. The lens of the eye is another clear tissue that allows light through to the retina behind. The lens can change its shape so that you can see far and near objects. This is called accommodation. To focus on distant objects, the lens becomes thin. To see close objects, the lens becomes more convex. Here at the very back of the eye, we see where the optic nerve enters the eye. The optic nerve carries all of the electrical information from all of the ro rods and cones in the retina uh, back to the brain where the information is translated into the things that we see.